So it's May and here I am in Poland at the European Leadership Forum, Christian Leaders. And uh, it's pretty much like Wales today, it's, uh, it's a bit wet. <laughs> and uh, I'm just walking out at the end of the conference having had a tremendous time with, believe it or not, with a lot of rural Christian people, people who are keen to serve the Lord Jesus Christ and serve their rural communities across Europe, particularly the guys from Eastern Europe, the former communist states. And they're, they're just reaching out to us in Wales, people who do the sort of job I do as a rural chaplain and, and trying to promote and sustain and encourage uh, sort of rural Christian life. They've been a joy. They've been a, a terrific encouragement to my heart. And you know, they're looking to us. They're looking to us for help and support and leadership in the sort of things they want to do for their rural communities. We think we've got it bad in Wales, and we have, but my goodness, the pressures and the stress and the tension on some of those guys and some of the people they serve, immense, immense. So it's time to be walking down to the town uh, across the raging river here, which is loud in the background, as you can probably hear. To uh, try and find a few little prezies to take home, you know, keep the missus happy and that sort of thing. And a uh, little present for the lad because he's been looking after the farm on his own since I've been away, doing a good job. He's got the engineers in today, servicing tractors. He's been putting up a few runs of fence. And, uh, you know, poor lad, he deserves a bar of chocolate anyway out of all of it. Can't say I'm not all heart, can you? So this conference I've been at has been at a huge hotel up there on the hill behind me and uh, it was built by the, uh, I guess, the Communist Politburo type people and they've made it nice for themselves around here. They've uh, sort of landscaped the whole place and the Datchers are up there and over there behind me in the distance as I walk down to the town today. And as I do that, I'm walking over this bridge. I don't know if you can see behind me, but the river is, you know, full of waters and it's it's kind of roaring down there. Can you see that? It's it's, it's quite something and it's, it's reminded me of uh, the turmoil really that we find at the heart of many of our rural communities across Europe and across Eastern Europe at the moment. It's the same in Wales. Lots of pressures on rural people, lots of pressures on agriculture and agricultural production and we find people are living with a whole load of um, low-level stress it's called. It's like churning that goes on you know inside inside your heart as you're dealing with bureaucracy and banks and bovine TB and you know the dreaded Brexit word all those things and as I walked across this stream here across this river across this bridge it's reminded me of a verse in the Psalms if you want to look it up it's Psalm 29 verse 3 the voice of the Lord is over the waters all that churning all that stuff that goes on deep down you know sometimes it's beneath the surface sometimes sadly it's not when we're under all those pressures the voice of the Lord is over that churning water that grinds around inside and wears a man, wears a oh woman man. down. Look at the turbulence in that and stuff being just thrown around and bobbed about in the water as it roars down. Chaos there in front of you. The God of glory thunders over all the voices of doubt and anguish and angst within our hearts. The voice of the Lord thunders and then it winds up as if there were any doubt. The Lord thunders over the loud waters. Well, you know, I don't know what you've got going on in your heart today. I guess it's pretty much the same sort of stuff that goes on in mine. Farming's hard work. Being a dad in agriculture is hard work. Being a mum in agriculture is hard work. But the voice of the Lord thunders over the waters. And as we turn to him, as we listen for him, as we get his book out, as we open the Bible, as we, as we seek to hear the voice of God into my situation, into my life, the voice of God is more powerful. It, it thunders across those nagging, anxious voices. And I find that if I don't take that bit of time each day for myself and to be with him and to hear that voice of God, then those raging waters, they mount up, you know, they become problematic. But his voice it's greater. His voice overcomes all that other stuff, that crap that goes on, that turmoil. And I find that helps. Well, it's it's a help to the guys I've been with here today. It's a help not just to me. It's not that I'm just crazy. It's, we're all crazy together, maybe. But that's a different story. What we've got is we've got a God who speaks to us, who deals with us 
in our life situation, deals with us in our need. And farmers, increasingly farmers, are turning to listen to this voice of God, to hear him speak, to speak with a voice that overpowers the thrashing around inside and speak peace into our hearts and souls. If you don't believe me, let me tell you this. We've got a little stand in Kamala Market. It sits between the main sales ring and the toilets. Farmers are reaching out. And they're reaching, they're reaching out to the extent that they take maybe five New Testaments a week off that stand to reach out to listen to the voice of God. Reckon, reckon it's a good idea. A lot of farmers are finding that in Wales at the moment. I commend it to you. If you're passing Kamala, then drop in. We'll gladly give you a Farmer's New Testament, specially done for farmers. Got farmer's Prayer in the back. It's got lots of things in the front about what to read when you're feeling low, depressed, lonely, anxious, even when you despair of life itself, because the Bible's all about stuff like that too. And it's all about putting together, again, the heart of a man and a woman, so that the voice of God overcomes the thrashings and the longings and the angst and the anxiety that lies in the human heart when we try to live without the God whose voice thunders over the thrashing, foaming, angry waters.